each class later in the day. Then schedule brief study sessions on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Take Saturday off. We won't judge you. Spacing out your studying may seem difficult and it may seem like you're forgetting information from day to day. But that's actually good. Going through the process of remembering, learning, and information better grains. Better grains it in your memory. So, force yourself, force yourself to space out your studying. You'll remember more from each study lessons or each study session than you would if you crank, crank, I don't know what it is, crammed them all together. So, if you cram, you'll learn less and forget more quickly. Another problem with cramming is often replaces sleep that is very important for learning. Sydney? Okay, snoring. <laughs> <laughs> very good. All right, I'll start you on the next one. Let's go back to the beginning here, starting with George. Have you ever been in I know, a situation? I know. Have you ever been in the situation? Been in. Oh, okay. Have you ever been in a situation? Let's make it faster. Been in the, been in the. Have you ever been in a situation? Great. Have you ever been in a situation where? Have you ever been in a situation where? Been in the, I need to hear the the, try and get the TH. Have you ever been in the situation where? Have you ever been in a situation where? Situ, situation. Situation. Have you ever been in the situation where? Have you ever, have you ever been in, in the situation where? You're doing okay. I want that. I'm not hearing the TH uh, good enough. Have you ever been the, have you ever been in the situation? Situation. <laughs> Now it's yes, exactly. So you're you're you either have a problem here on the the or here on the situ. So just concentrate. I have a problem to continue from from the to, to a situation. Yep. Have you ever been in the situation situation? So a better way to look at it is like this. Have you ever been in the situation? Yeah, I think that sounds much easier for me. Yeah. Try it. Have you ever been in, in the situation? It sounds better. Again, have you ever been in the situation? Have you ever been in the situation? Again. Have you ever been in the situation? Much better, much better. Good job. Marlene, give me an ah, pot of coffee. Pot of coffee. A fresh pot of coffee. A fresh pot of coffee. Do you like coffee? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I, I love coffee. Do you like Red Bull? No, never. I, I have never drank Red Bull. Don't try it. What, yeah, don't try it. Coffee is much better. How about this? The exam. Right. Make it more of a the. The exam. Uh, the exam. And watch your TH, the exam. The exam. The exam. The exam. Yes. The exam. You may pass the exam. You may pass the exam. But you'll forget. But you'll forget. Fur, fur. But you'll forget. But you'll for forget. All of that information. All of that information at hypersonic speed. At hypersonic speed. Try the whole sentence again, Marlene. You may pass the exam, but you forget forget all of that information at hyper 
hyper, hypersonic speed. Much better. One more. You may pass the exam, the exam, but you forget you forget all that information at hypersonic speed. Isn't it easy? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, it's not. No, it's not but it's point. not too, too much. It's not okay. too much. Exactly. That's right. That's right. It's just practice. Okay, so this is a tough word, Mikiko. Cumulative. Cumulative. Good. Cumulative. Cumulative. Lative. 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 Okay. Cumulative. Hope there's not a cumulative final. Hope there's not a cumulate cumulative final. Hope there's not a cumulative final. Hope there's not a cumulative final. Great. You can put the V and the F together. Cumulative mm -hmm. final. Cumulative final. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Paolo. Yes, sir. You tell me. The exam. Good. And watch your TH. Make the TH nice before the exam. Before the exam. Perfect. That's exactly right. Good job. Good job. Thank you, sir. June. Yep. Is this? Is this? Try and make it smooth. Is this? Is this? Yes. Not only okay. is this advice. Not only is this advice. Not only is this advice backed by science. Not only is this advice backed by science. Again? Not only is this advice backed by science. Give me a flap T. Not only. Is this advice backed by science? Not only is this advice backed by science. Great. Very good. Good job. Good job. Okay. okay. Let me go to Sydney. Short A, Sydney. After, after class. Yes. After class. So I repeat. It is after same book. After, after class, Perfect. take a break. Later on that day. Later on that day. Not on, on. Later on. Later on that day. Try and later on. Are. Later on. Later on that day. Later on. Later on. Mm -mm. Later on. Later on. Yes, yes, yes. Later on that day. Later on that day. Terrible. Yeah, later on that day. It's good. Your art linking was good, but ah, on. Later on that day. Now your day. R is not linking. Now the R needs to link. Yes. Later on. Yes, again. Later on. Yes, great. <laughs> that they reveal what you learned. Yes, learned. Learned is what I want you to say. That's right. We actually sometimes say learned, learned, but uh, generally I want you to say learned, learned. Do you guys know whack-a-mole? Do you guys know this game? No. Yep. Yes. I love it. Yeah. I did that before. This is this is like fire. this is like George and Sydney. Uh, at one point, later is good, but then later on is not good, and then the on is not good. It's trying to like find the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but there is a problem in Portuguese. Oh, we say on. I know it's British. So, so. So it's on. So my question, when Marlene, Marlene read, you say, but, but, 
This is short O. Pot. Pot, yes, pot, short O, same as on, yes. The same as on, the yep. same as not. Yep. Not, so yep. it's not not, it's not. At, not. Not. Yes. It seems, it's similar to our A. Pa, not. It's, well, it's possible. Even in America, we have the word father, which is actually a short O. Ah, ah, fa, father. So it's possible to think so, like that. Okay, so can I, can, I, can I use this analysis, this similitude to not, not that, may I use not like father? Yes, it's the same pronunciation. Father, not, on, all the same. Father, not, on, pot. Pot, okay. a pot of coffee, yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Sorry, Paul? No, 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 I was, I was saying something. Okay, yep. not, <laughs> on, pot. Okay, thank you. You bet. Let's go to, Nine. we're getting filled up here. Welcome, everybody. Uh, let's go back to George. What you learned in each class? What you learned in each class? Give me that linking D. Learned in. What you learned in each class? What you class. learned in each class? What you learned in each class? Good. So once again, George, the words go together like this. What you learned. What you learned in each class in each class so we need to feel that rhythm what you learned in each class what you learn in each class and then when we put it together we get some linking right here what we learned in each class what you learn in what you learned in the what you learn in each class better again what you learn in each class Better. One more time. What you learned in each class. Good. That was good. That was good. Schedule. Schedule. Then schedule brief study sessions. Then schedule brief study sessions. Very good. Let me go to Marlene. Marlene, I want a flat T. You said Saturday, which is lovely. Sounds British. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Take Saturday off. Take Saturday off. And this is a long O, so I need a big O. We won't judge you. We won't judge you. More O. We won't judge you. We won't judge you. So, try this. Say that. He won't want to. What? He want to want to. It sounds too similar. No. So. Yeah. <laughs> and we need to make it really different. So this is an O and an A. Ah. So, and it's a, you can make it a diphthong. So the O, we can actually say O and A. Ah. Try that. O, A. Ah. And now we're going to add W. Whoa. Wow. Whoa, wow. Great. He won't want to. Okay. He won't want to. No, more O no. again. He won't want to. Again. He won't want to. We won't judge you. We won't we won't judge you. More. No. We want to do. He want. won't want to. We want to do. Yes, again. We want want to do. Uh, it was better. One more. We want want to do. Good, no. good. So keep practicing that. Oh, oh. Okay. 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 Difficult. Okay. It is. It is. And this one too. Let, I want linking here, Marlene. Like your. Like your. 
It may seem like you're forgetting information. It may seem like you're forgetting information. Great job. Very good. And Makiko, I want this to be A and this to be B. So let's do this. The process yeah. of A and B. Okay. The process of remembering and relearning the information. Better. Mm -mm. So just say it with me again. The process of A and B. Process of A and B. No. Listen carefully. The process of A and B. Process of A and B. Yes. So we start here. The process of A and B. The process of A and B. The process of A and B. A and B. A and B. A and B. That's right. The process of A and B. Process of A and B. Don't leave out the. The process of A and B. The process of A and B. The process of remembering and relearning the information. The, the process remembering, relearning information. That's better. That's better. Listen okay. to me again. The process of remembering and relearning the information. Information. The, the process of remembering or relearning the information. This is really difficult, guys. Um, but I'm dancing. What's that? I'm dancing, remembering, relearning the information. Yeah, that's right. That was right. Do it again. Okay. The process of remembering, relearning the information. The information. information. Inform the process of remembering, the relearning the information. Yes. Okay. The key is dance. Let's keep going here. Better ingrains it. Better ingrains it. Better ingrains it. Better ingrains it. In your memory. In your memory. The process of remembering and relearning the information mm -hmm. better ingrains it in your memory. The process of remembering and relearning the information better ingrains in your memory. Too fast, Mikiko. And what you need to do is mm. I need a full stop here and a fresh start here. So watch it again. The process of remembering and relearning information. Sorry, I screwed up. The process of remembering and relearning the information better ingrains it in your memory. The process of remembering and relearning the information better ingrains it in your memory. Better ingrains it. Yes. Better ingrains it in your memory. Yes. Isn't it easy? Yes. <laughs> it get easier. Good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, this rhythm, Thank you. this rhythm is really tough stuff. Thank you. You bet. And let me go to Paolo. Paolo, give me more why. Space out your studying. Space out your studying. 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 Great. If you cram them all together. Cram, yeah. If you cram them all together. Good. Let's keep it separate. If you crammed them all together. If you crammed them all together. Great job. Perfect. Thank you, sir. And June. So if you cram. So if you cram. It often replaces sleep. It often replaces sleep. Try and get a flat T. It often replaces sleep. It often replaces sleep. And sleep is very important. And sleep is very important. 
I need the R. If you do not say the R, it sounds like a different word. And that's a funny word. Okay. So say this. Is important. This is one? important. Okay. Just this one at a time. This one again. Is important. And this one. Is important. Okay. Um. So both are not too good, but this one was better. Okay. So the actual pronunciation. Important. Important. Yes, with the stop T. 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 Yep, and I recommend keep that T. Important. Important. He is important. He is important. Yes, and keep that R strong. That's the key. He is important. He is important. And this word is actually impotent. Impotent. Yes. He is impotent. He is impotent. Very good. Very good. Sleep is very important. Sleep is very important. Yes. Good job. Keep that or important very strong. Good job, June. Okay. Uh, I, I used to pronounce this word is like this. Important. Yeah. That's a, that's a glottal stop. And I don't recommend it. For listening skill, okay, it's so, important. Okay. It's important. But for speaking, June, stick with the T, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, and what June, what June said okay, is right. Okay, so I, 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 uh, I need to plant T Okay. Yeah, the first T is nice. You, you mean I have to keep the T down? Okay, okay. I, I get it. So what June is saying, everybody, uh, is, is really good. A lot of Americans will say important, important, important. And that's a stop T, import. And then right from that stop position, they do the N, import. Mm, and then they do another stop T, import. Mm, and that's what they say, important, important. But I don't recommend that for ESL students unless I tell you, your pronunciation is great. Don't do it. I highly recommend you keep this, the first T important. Important, you'll be good. And what's important is to keep the poor. The poor needs to be strong. If you don't have the poor, it sounds like impo, and that's funny. A guy that's impotent is sad. It happens. Okay. Okay. Questions on this story? Yes, I have a question. I'm ready for you. Thank you. Uh, I want to know the difference between spread out and the space out. Now, I think spread out is like scatter, no order. But space out is like your some things, things are on a line, and the space between things are exactly the same. So, if I want somebody to be neat, I sh should I say space it out? So it's qu quite different meanings. I understand in this case, spread out means make it stop, flat, but it's it sounds like uh, how can I say? No, you, well, you said it's exactly right. It was very very well said. Um, so in daily English, space out, spread out, ah, the same thing. People are going to use them the same way. However, actually what Mikiko said is correct. To spread out would be like I have some seeds. And actually I do actually have some seeds. I've got some bean seeds. Can you see the beans? Um, so I take these seeds. It would be better if they're grass seeds. And I go outside and whoo, whoo, whoo. In this case, I'm spreading out, spreading out. 
Now, if I'm planting another type of plant and I go, okay, here's one seed here and then one meter, another seed, and then one meter, another seed, that's spacing out. So absolutely, space out, equal, organized, very nice, spread out would be anywhere. So a garden, a vegetable garden, the seeds are spaced out. And your grass in the lawn, in your yard, the seeds are spread out. Very good, very good. Thank you very much. Next question. Can I have a question about the pronunciation, um, the difference between, uh, so uh, when, when should I use the light, the light L and the dark L? It doesn't matter. Um, so, and I've said before, some people always use the dark L, light, 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 light. Some people always use the light L, light, 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 light. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it, it really doesn't matter. However, okay. however, if you have an L problem, if you have an L problem, I highly recommend the light L. Okay. So it depends on the uh, on you. Uh, the next word or the or, or the whole sentence. No, it depends on the speaker. Um, so okay. in America, in America, we really do use both the light L and the dark L a lot. So yeah, I would say, you know, if you've got a lot of internal sound, it's going to be a dark L. If you've got a lot of external sound, it's going to be a light L. Um, and when people want to speak clearly, if they want to be very clear, they're going to use a light yeah. L too. Okay. Okay. I get it. Thank you. Yep. Go ahead, Nabil. Let me ask you a question. Is there the sound same in the word put, book, and good? Yep. The same, oh, say, uh, yeah, uh, put, yes, put, put, book, good, yeah. So especially put, foot, and good, they really sound the same. Book sounds a little bit different, but it's not. The only reason it sounds different is because of the consonant. The consonant is different. Uh, the actual O-O is the same. And I believe the IPA symbol is like this. Um, but yeah, these are all the same. The reason it might sound different is simply because, you know, the t, t, and d are the same, very similar sounds. The k is different. That's why it kind of changes the vowel. But actually, they are all uh, 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 which is basically just like a schwa. It is short U. No, it's not a short U. So, um, so a short U would be uh, put. So in this case, so here we've got put, 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 and here we got put, 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 put. The short U is uh, uh, uh. The short uh, double O is uh, uh. Uh, once again, everybody, the sh the short the short double O is essentially a schwa. Okay. You you have a uh, you you have a long double O. Yeah. So the 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 long double O the long double O is U like poo, Winnie the Pooh, and uh, the short double O is like foot, book, good, that. Okay. Thank you. Yep. 
there is an other question. Sure. When the words begin with W and V alphabet, so both are same, W and V? No, 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 no. Very different. The W and the V in America, very different. So this is a wo 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 wo. This is a v v v v v. Wo 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 wo. V v v v v. So we can say uh, wife and vice. Wife, vice. Wife, vice. Very different. So both both parts have vibration. V and W. Yeah, they both are vibrated, but the V, the lips touch the teeth, uh, the the bottom. I'm sorry, the the bottom lip uh, touches the teeth. The wife, no teeth touching, but vibration, yes. Okay, thank you. Anything else? I have another question. Yep. Thank you. I'm uh, still not sure about the may, might, and would. So the, the a power of the certainty is the strongest will, right? Will, would, may, might. Give me a sentence. Can, you go. Give me a sentence. Like, it's going to depend. Okay. So the strongest you will pass the test. That's the strongest, right? And the next is you may pass. And then you might pass. And you could or you would pass. No, they're different. Uh, how about you can pass and you can pass. So I thought this is the order of the uh, mechanic is more stronger. Mm, I don't like that idea. I see what you mean. So it's you're not wrong, but I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't teach it like that. You will pass. I would say this. A hundred percent. You may pass. Uh, sixty percent. Maybe even seventy. Uh, you might pass. Forty. Uh, 60. You could pass if you studied a lot. You would you would pass if you were taking the test, but you're not. You can pass. You can pass is grammatically incorrect. I mean, it's useless. Of course, anybody can do it. Uh, however, we do say it, and we and the meaning would be the similar uh, to could. So in daily English, we should say could, but in colloquial English, we say can. It's actually wrong. Um, we should say could. Americans use can the same way that you should use could. So that's the idea. You can pass if you study. But how do you distinguish between present and the past. What do you mean? It could, like, the test was over and Oh, you then we say you could have passed. The test. We, you could have passed. Uh, right, all right, all right. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Yep. So, so, the, so if I feel like the percentage. Uh, I think it's it's better to think percentage than strength. Strength, because it depends on how the person says it. Um, but in general, your order was good um, for these three, but not for these. These are going to be different. For these three, I do agree there's kind of an order. Mm -hmm. And it, but, that the below three is always, not below two is always uh along with if sentence sentence they should they should be that's right uh, okay okay thank you thank you very much yeah uh, shane 
there is one thing the four of you first the year future and the two that you you, you highlighted in blue it passed no 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 they're not passed um my test is tomorrow oh man it's so difficult but you could pass if you were taking the test you could pass so i could say it like that so it doesn't have to be past tense it doesn't have to be so again again my test is tomorrow oh it's so difficult but i know that you could pass the thing is you're not taking the test so it's just a conditional so if you use it as a conditional uh, it can be future tense Well, for instance, uh, like in the in the last lesson, I would I would visit my the kid. I would visit. Remember the kid summer. There's a sentence I would stay there when I was a child. Mm. Something like this. Yeah, that's yeah, but that's a diff right. So, but that's a different. Uh, here. I'm not using it like this. I'm using it as a conditional. I'm using it as a conditional, and that changes it. So I would go to the store when I was a kid. Yes, that's past tense. It's very passive, but yes. Uh, because the question was, the question was, what would you do as a child? That was the question. So in that perf assignment, you got to go back to the question. That's why everything included would. The question was would, okay? But this is a conditional. It's a different situation. Very different. But uh, uh, if I write, you, you would pass if you, if you were taking the test. Why were? Where is Because you're not. Sydney, Sydney, I have a, I have a driver's test tomorrow. I have, uh, I have a driver's license test tomorrow. Do you? Do you? Okay. No, I'm asking you, do you? No, I don't. No, you don't, right? Uh, yeah. But how many years have you been driving? Oh, uh, perhaps 40 years. 40 years? Wow. If you were taking my test tomorrow, you would pass. Okay. Okay. If we're taking my test tomorrow, for me it's a, 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 a like a paradox. We're ta taking tomorrow. Yeah, you guys. This is conditionals. Con you guys, what you should do, Sydney, is study up conditionals. Do you have uh, Swan's book? No, no. You go, just go online and find books on condition or find uh, websites on conditionals and practice the conditionals. Yes. Okay. Yeah, conditionals is a whole other ball game. Okay. Conditional. Okay. There's first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. Even I get confused when I speak. It's easy when I explain. I have to check, so okay. that's why I don't teach grammar. Too many silly rules. Okay, thank you. Shane, I have a last question about the word may. Um, sometimes I read the novel. I always read about the sentence is um, uh, like the king or the queen talk to his counselors. Uh, you may leave. So that's kind of ordering, right? No. Well, yes. Actually, may uh, is more equivalent to allow. Um, so, so in America, kids will say, "Can I go to the bathroom?" And that and that is wrong. The teacher will say, "No. You're supposed to say, may I go to the bathroom?'" So, uh, and then the, the student says, "May I go to the bathroom?" And then the teacher says, yes, you may. 
you're allowed. So may is more allow. Can is ability. In this situation, can equals ability, and may equals allow in that situation. Okay, so may means uh, you ask for permission. For some permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to close this. Any other questions? Okay, I'm going to close that. Let's open up some sign failed. Get some sign failed going. Not that. 421. Let's do 421. 421. We didn't study this one earlier. Okay. Again, we got a lot of people, so I'm going to give everybody just a line. So we'll start with Abraham. Hi, Abraham. Abraham is George Everton. Hi, Everton. Elaine. George is George. Marlene is Jerry. Nikiko, Mohammed, Paolo, Pop, and June. Sydney, we'll keep going like that. Uh, Abraham, start us off, please. Okay. Okay. Thanks again for last night. Hey, I didn't even use one. Yeah. Use two. This is. Uh, go ahead, George. George, uh, do both. Okay. Yeah. I thought you said was a Imamen. Imamen. Good. Marlene? I'm Eleni. Yeah, it was. But then I just couldn't decide if he was really sponge worthy. worthy. Sponge worthy? Next one too, Makiko. Okay. Yeah, Jerry, yeah. I have to conserve these sponges. Good. Nabil. But you like this guy. Isn't that what the sponge are for? Good job. Paolo. <laughs> yes, yes. For the win off the market. But I mean, now I've got to reevaluate my whole, whole screening process. I can't afford to waste any of them. You know, you're nuts with these sponges. George is getting frustrated. <laughs> nice job. Okay, and don't worry, Sydney. I'll get you a lot next time. Um, let's go to Abraham, first of all. Nice job, Abraham. Make it more, a little Thanks. bit shorter, for, and your sar sarcasm. Thanks again for last night. <laughs> Thanks again for last night. Yeah, it's sarcasm. Actually, he's angry, okay? okay. Yeah. George, and you, to got be... the, you got the word at the end. Give me the word again. Im imminent. 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 I thought you said it was imminent. I thought you said it was imminent. Good. Very good. Very good. Marlene, give me a little more TH, but then... But then... Good. Even more. But then. But then. 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 But then I just couldn't decide. But then I just couldn't decide. This is a short U. Sponge. Sponge. Worthy. Worthy. Sponge worthy. Sponge worthy. Great job. Very good. Mikiko, you too. Sponge worthy? Sponge worthy. Great. Very good. Thank you. Paolo, give me more A, Paolo, before they went off the market. Before they went off the market. Went off the market. Good job on this word. This is a tough word. How do you say this word? Reevaluate. Yeah, great job. This is tough, everybody. You need to say re uh it's got you gotta have that schwa re uh reevaluate. Excellent job. One more time, Paolo. Reevaluate. Reevaluate. Very good. And my connection's bad. June. Stronger. 
You're nuts with these sponges. Junior, there you go. Oh, sorry, that's not my sentence. I, I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. No, 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 not me. Who said this? Me, 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 Koshe? Uh, Abraham, you said this? Yeah, uh -huh. it is me. Oh, uh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, Abraham, you're nuts with these sponges. Ah, uh, okay, you're nuts with these sponges. Did you say that before? No, I say like not, you know, okay. the word not. Okay, okay. Uh, with all. So once again, nuts is crazy. You're nuts with these sponges. You're nuts with these sponges. George is getting frustrated. George is getting frustrated. Good job. Very good. Good job. So I skipped more can I? I apologize. All right. Uh, let's go to the next one here. And I'm starting with June. June, uh, all of that. Go ahead, June. Um, kind of more grammar. Oh, okay. You're checked in. Thank you. Sydney, the next three. Hey, here's your age ribbon. Uh, no, thank you. You don't want to wear an age ribbon. Very nice. And let me go to Paolo. Paolo. Uh, no, no. But you have to wear an AIDS ribbon. I have to. Nabil. Yes. Yeah. See, that's why I don't want to. Nice. Mikiko? But everyone wears the ribbon. You must wear the ribbon. Job. And Marlene? You know what you are. You are ribbon worthy. <laughs> Good. And George? Hey. Hey, you. Come back here. Come back here and put this on. <laughs> George, you're a natural bully. That's my middle name, bully. <laughs> All right, let me go to uh, June. June, let me hear the linking. You're checked in. You're checked in. Give me a year. Year. You're checked in. You're checked in. Checked in. Checked in. Good. You're checked in. You're checked in. Perfect. And let okay. me go to Sydney. Ah, uh, Cindy, put it together. Uh, no thanks. Uh, no thanks. So, you said earlier, no thanks, which actually needs a comma. And the idea is, no, but thank you. And here, no thanks, it just means no, even though we say thanks. There, there really is kind of a difference. So, try it. Okay. Repeat after me. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, no, thanks. No, make, you gotta make it longer. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, no, thanks. Good. And then this one? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, no, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. Great job. Your T's were too clear. I don't want your T's. You don't, you don't want to wear an AIDS ribbon? You don't want, you, you don't want to wear an AIDS ribbon? Wanna. You don't want to wear an AIDS ribbon? There you go. Is it ribbon or ribbon? Ribbon. Ribbon, bin, bin. Ribbon. 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 Exactly. What sound is this? What sound is this? It's a schwa. Schwa ribbon. Okay. Mikiko, give me more V. Everyone wears the ribbon. 
everyone wears the ribbon. Great, great job. Let's keep going here. Everton, Everton, all of that. Eleni, her sponge. She's got like a white chest full of them. Well, I don't see why you just can use some condoms. <laughs> Abraham. Yes. The next section. Okay, you could you could forgive me. You could you could forgive me, please, coach, because I missed this class, so I'm trying to be. That's okay. You can still try. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Okay, George. Oh no, no. No condoms, is that right? Yeah. No condoms are for single men. The day that we got engaged, I say goodbye to the condom ever, forever. Nice job, Abraham. Thank uh, you. Let me go. This time I'll go back to Marlene. Marlene? Just once for the makeup log. Makeup log, you have to have that, you have to have that right after the fight. You're way past that. Good job. And Makiko? Come on, just once? No, no, I hate the condom. Why? Nabil? I can never get the package open in time. <laughs> well, you just get right it there, open. Right there, right there. Uh, Paolo? Well, it just stare open. <laughs> June? I'm sorry, June, right, oh, right up to clock, June. Okay. It's not that easy. It's like be the clock. There's a lot of pressure there. <laughs> Last sentence, Sydney. There's a lot of pressure there. <laughs> Great job, guys. Okay, let me go back here. Uh, Elaine and her sponges. Elaine and her sponges. Her sponges. Her sponges. Great. How do you say this word, Everton? War. Yeah. Make sure it's a good O. She's got like a war chest full of them. She's got like a war chest full of them. Great. Very good. Very good. And was this Marley? I think it was Marley. No. So, no, per, it's, who was it? I don't know. Try it with me. Try it with me, Marlene. We're uh, way past that. Where is it? <laughs> Can you see here? Uh, we're way past that. We're okay. we're way past that. Ah, oh, yeah, it was mine. Sorry. And you did a we're great job. We're way past that. Okay. <laughs> And this was Nabil. Get that TH. Try again. Get the package. I can never get the package open in time. I can never get the package open in time. Get the. Get the. Get the. The. Get the. Get the. The. Get the. Good. I can never get the package open in time. I can never get the package open in time. Faster. I can never get the package open in time. Great job. Very good. June? Ah. It's like beat the clock. June, your mic is off. Oh, sorry. It's like be the clock. Perfect. And Sydney also. <laughs> ah, there's a lot of pressure there. There's a lot of pressure there. Give me more ah. There's a lot of pressure there. There is a lot of pressure there. 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 Tear. There. There. Tear. Hair. There. There. Perfect. There, tear, hair. There, 
here, there, <laughs> there. Thank you. Yeah. Let's keep going. We're not done. Abraham, these two. Hey, where's your where's your ribbon? Oh, I don't I don't wear a ribbon. Everton. You don't wear a ribbon? Aren't you against AIDS? Marlene? Yeah, I'm against AIDS. I mean I mean I'm walking, aren't I? I just don't wear the ribbon. Mekiko? Who do you think you are? Perfect. That's a tough one. Nabil. Put that ribbon on. <laughs> Paolo. Hey, Cedric. Bob. This guy won't wear the ribbon. Yeah, go ahead, Paolo. Hmm? Ribbon. Ribbon. Hey, Cedric. Bob. This guy won't wear a ribbon. Wow. Ribbon. Yeah. June. Ooh. Ooh. Who doesn't want to wear the ribbon? <laughs> okay, so again, everybody, remember, R-I-B-B-O-M. We don't say ribbon, it's ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. So let's start with Abraham. Where's your okay. ribbon? Where's your ribbon? Great, great. That's now. my turn. What's that? Yes. Uh, with a pawn well, or, or pen? Bin, bin. It's just like I... in, in Arabic. It's How do you say this? Yeah, ebon. <laughs> Same thing, ribbon. Ribbon. Yeah, ribbon. That's yeah. right. Um, so, you guys, I want you to pay attention. I'm not going to explain it. I'm not going to explain it. But I want you to look closely. Um... And I want you to recognize your the, 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 uh, the. I want you to look at that and try and understand why sometimes your, sometimes the, sometimes uh. Also, mm -hmm. go back here, and I want you to do the same thing. When you have a chance, your, an, an, the, uh, and uh, yeah, so I want you to pay attention to these two sections and and try to understand why it's your, why it's the, why it's an, why it's a. Uh, and this is a great opportunity to look at how Americans use determiners. These are called determiners. Um, Many of you, uh, like, uh, and, the, those are articles, but we can use your, his, we can use that too. So when we go beyond, uh, and the, then we start calling them determiners. So learning about determiners is important, okay? Let me go to, who was this? This was, it was me. Everton, Everton. go for it. Was it Everton? Was that with you? Yeah. Yeah, let me do this. Um, you don't wear the ribbon? Perfect. One more. You don't wear the ribbon? Exact. Ribbon. Make it more of an un. One more. You don't wear the ribbon? Perfect. Great job. Okay. This perfect pronunciation, aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? But we don't say that. Aren't I? Aren't I? Okay, aren't I? Aren't I? Okay, aren't I? I mean, I'm walking, aren't I? Okay. I'm walking, aren't I? Not aren't I. Aren't I? Aren't I? I'm walking, aren't I? I'm walking, aren't I? Perfect. One more time. I'm walking, aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Great job. Very good. Who is this? Nabil, put try it again. Ribbon, put the ribbon on. Put the ribbon on. Put the ribbon on. Put the ribbon on. Angry, put the ribbon on. Put the ribbon on. Put the ribbon on. Good job. 
And last one. Sydney. Sydney's been so patient. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Sydney, I want you to do the first two. Go ahead. Okay. So you think you are a sponge warp? Marlene, get yeah. the microphone, please. <laughs> Sydney, go ahead again. <laughs> it wasn't okay. me. Mikiko. <laughs> go mute your microphone, both of you ladies. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Two against nice. me. Two against me. <laughs> so you. <laughs> okay. So you think you're a sponge worth? Yes, I think I'm a sponge worth. I think I'm a very sponge worth. Oh, good practice for you. Good. Abraham, next one. Run down your case for me again. Great. Everton? Well, we've gone out several times. We obviously have a good rapport. Uh, mm -hmm. Marlene, Marlene, up to here. These two. Mm -hmm. mm, I own I own a very profi profitable electronics distributing firm. I eat well. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there. Good, 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 good. Uh, let me get Mikiko. These two. I eat well. I exercise, breath test, immaculate. Great. Uh, Nabil. Mm. And if I can speak correctly, I'm actually quite good at it. <laughs> nice job. Paolo. You going to do something about your sideburns there? June? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told you. I'm going to be my problem. Great job. Back to Sydney. And the bathroom in your apartment. Abraham. Cleaned it. Um, cleaned it this morning. Great job. Everton? The thing? The tub, other things got clean. Marlene? Everything, yeah, it's spotless. <laughs> nice. Makiko? All right, let's go. <laughs> Nabil? Okay. <laughs> yeah, what a terrible dialogue to have students do. Anyway, good job. Let me go back. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, sponge. Sponge. Sponge worthy. Sponge worthy. You think you're sponge worthy? You think you're a sponge worthy? I think I'm sponge worthy. I think I'm a sponge worthy. Good job. Very good. Marlene. <laughs> profitable. 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 Electronics distributing firm. Electronics distributing firm. Electronics distributing firm. Electronics distribu distributing firm. Great job. I own a very profitable electronics distributing firm. I own a very profitable electronics distributing, distributing firm. Great job. Very good. That was good. Mikiko, let's do two pronunciations. The first one, perfect. Tests. Tests. Longer second S. Tests. Tests. Longer second S. I want the, the, the second S to be longer. Tests. Tests. Longer, much longer. Listen to me. Tests. Tests. Yes. Again. Tests. Tests. Good. Make that second S always long, okay? Uh, it, any any words? No. For STS. 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 Always the second S. You guys, I tell you guys the S is not only one of the important sounds, 
the S is the most important sound because the S can show plural, the S can show tense, the S can show possession, and the S can show contraction, okay? So plural would be uh, pens, not pen. Tense could be runs, not run. Possession could be Shane's, not Shane. And contraction could be it's, not it, okay? So it's this final S. That's what's important. This is what tells the structure of the sentence. So when you see a word like test, this S, you know, whatever, it's part of this word. This S is the important S. That's the one people need to hear. Does that make sense? Yes. yes so again, tests. Tests. More, more. It's got to be cleaner. It sounds more like, and I don't want, I want. Tests. Yes. Blood tests. Blood tests. Good. Now, the nice thing is the S is a strong sound. The T is weak. We can actually just say blood tests. Blood tests. Good. With no T. Get that L. Blood, bl uh, blood bl tests. Blood, blood tests. Good. Make the S longer. Don't stop it. Don't stop the uh -huh. S. If you stop the S, it means there's a T. So don't stop the S. Blood tests? Blood tests. Tests. Yeah, you don't have to make it too long. Listen carefully. Tests. Tests. Test. Tests. No, no, you listen. I want you to hear it. I stopped it. So listen carefully. Tests. 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 Test. Test. Tests. Tests. So I'm going to do this. So, so I you're, want, you're saying with S I'm and doing, without I'm doing S. both, Nikiko. I'm doing both. And I'm not telling you. So now mm -hmm. I want you to tell me, am I saying number one or number two, okay? Okay. Okay. Test. One. Test. One. Test. Two. Two. That was one. Good. Test. One. That was two. Oh, really? No, no, you didn't say that. I didn't stop. You got to listen carefully. This is not easy, okay. guys. Okay. Test. Two. Two. Test. Two. Test. One. Tests. Two. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Two, two. Yes, yes. Test. Uh, uh. Tests. Two. Test. One. Tests. One. Long S. Test. Two. Test. Two. Test. One. Good. Good. I want you to practice that, okay? All right. Okay. Okay. Not easy. Okay. Ah, this is Nabil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nabil, you said this. You said this. Mm-hmm. which usually means really, and mm-hmm, which means okay. So it's different. So one more time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. They're different, okay? Okay. And I want your linking good at it. Good at it. Good I'm at actually it. quite good at it. I'm actually quite good at it. Good, very good. Uh, Paolo, give me gonna. You gonna do something about your sideburns there?
You're gonna do something. You're gonna do something about your sideburns there. Excellent, excellent. And June, same thing. I'm gonna trim my sideburns. I'm gonna trim my sideburns. Good, good, very good. Who is this? It was me, Eric. What happened? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I realized it after I think I, I think I don't pay attention to words. <laughs> Try it again. The sink, the tub, everything got clean. Great. Do you clean the sink and the tub? Sometimes. Not all not always. Yep. Is your wife happy with your cleaning? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when I do I do pretty good. <laughs> Me too. I don't I don't clean the sink and the tub often, but when I do, it's spotless. Yeah. <laughs> and let me go let me go to Marlene. Put the S's together. It's spotless. It's spotless. Excellent job. Very good. Woo! That was a long one. Great job, you guys. Any questions? Yes, only one question. Shane, the word there, there, there is, and their house. The pronunciation, the same, there, because you mentioned like a hair. Read that sentence. Okay. There, over there, in their house. Yep. All the same. Okay. The same. Okay. So... The, the, these two, these two are absolute homonyms, always the same. This one, two pronunciations, there, there, and there, there. So the, the there. daily pronunciation, there, 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 all the same. Okay. Uh, coach, I'm wondering about the ANT deck, and yep. I haven't downloaded it. And I was wondering, is that my Anki deck, or we we share those? If I create one deck, do we share each other, or it's own? Um, hmm? Yeah, um, you can you can you can keep it to yourself. Or you can mm -hmm. share it. If you share it, uh, then I'll combine it into a DDM deck. Um, so it's up to you. If you want to make it just yours, that's fine. But if you want to okay. share it, which is cool, send it to me, and then I'll make the DDM deck. Oh, I see. I see. Thank you. Yep. Because if I make if I make this one, maybe my if, if I put one word or a phrase, maybe I need some explanation. How like you know, the meaning or how to pronounce. Sometimes it's difficult to write it down, and sometimes I have to write in my language because I can't find a certain word. So I was wondering if I should share or not. So my recommendation, if you're writing something in Japanese, uh, I don't know, you can still share it. It's okay. Um, you can still share it uh, because people can fix, can change the cards. Um, and it's not going to affect you. So I think it's okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. It's cool, Shane. How are you doing? Yes, Abraham. Yeah, my question is too about Enki. And uh, actually, I have n just a little bit idea about the Enki. How, how did I open an Enki account? It's free, so I'll show you. Um, yeah, can you please? Yeah, the only time you have to pay is on the iPhone app. So you don't have to do that. I have an iPhone, but I'm not going to pay money. So on my PC, on my MacBook, on an Android phone, it's free. It's free stuff. So let's go to Anki. And it's... it's it's a weird site, apps.ankyweb.net. Just Google Anki. Um, and then just download it. You download it. Um, and then you install it. And 
I gave, did you see the video? No, actually I didn't. It was it, was it on uh, DDM 420 or 21? I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can find the video. Hold up. How to use Anki. Because there's a really good video by a British guy. He did a great job. Was this it? I think this was it. Yeah. Anki is a stuff. Right? And you can organize the... Yeah. This is an yes. excellent. This is an excellent video. I'll put this in the chat room. Uh, this is an excellent video to show you how to start using Anki. It's excellent. It's it's the best. So uh, that'll help you. But it hey, was thank you. different from the actual screen from that downloaded. Uh, Maybe you the Japanese version. Uh, no. Maybe it's uploaded, an uh, up, up, upload, no, updated, or so it was different from this screen. So I was a bit confused. Okay, my it was the it's, same for mine. So it might oh, really, be, yeah, I use a Windows, Windows 10, and it was the same. So maybe, okay. you know, Mac or something could be a little bit different. That could be. Okay, I'll try it again. Thank you. If it works, don't worry, as long as you understand. Yeah, okay, but I, I, I use in the in the smartphone or in the desktop or both. Okay, so actually I think using it on the smartphone would be better. However, um, it's gonna take okay. a lot of memory. So if your smartphone has a lot of memory, excellent. If you use an Android, it's free. Android. Yeah, okay, it's Android. Free. But they call uh, 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 they call ink dried. I, I don't know. I'll show. Just go here once again. It's on the. It's all on the website. Um, the and, logo. Uh, here, it's right here. Download Anki, and they got the iPhone, Android, and then they got the Get Anki Droid. They have the buttons here. Okay, Anki Droid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Once again. Anki Mobile for the iPhone is 20 bucks. I was surprised. It's pretty expensive. Weird. It's, the reason is, is somebody else developed it, not this guy. Uh, but he says, once again, if you can't afford the app, you can still use Anki Web. So there's something called Anki Web. Uh, so, I mean, there are options, so don't, don't worry about it. Uh, but I do, if you have, so on my smartphone, I don't have enough memory. I mean, I already, it's already full. Um, so I wouldn't use Anki on my smartphone, but if you do have a lot of memory, it's great for your smartphone. I use it on my PC. Nice. All right, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Coach. See you next time. Uh, bye bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> what is the next week then? Uh, Shane. Coach Shane, can you hear me? Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm late about asking this question, but um, I'm asking about how did I space out my study for DDM exactly because uh, I have a little bit you can say confusion about this. So my recommendation, uh, month, you're in DDM VIP, what are you in? VIP, VIP, yes. So VIP. Monday, Monday you get an assignment, that's it, just mm -hmm. do the assignment, you're good. Tuesday, uh, obviously wait for my answers. Once you get the answers, uh, there's a repeat MP3. So after you watch the answers video, then I really want you to, to use the repeat MP3 for a couple of days, if you can. Just put it on your phone, or your iPhone or something, and, and just listen to it. And, and if you can, repeat for a couple of days 
So that's Tuesday. So, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that would be good. Um, and then, yeah. I, go ahead. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. And then on Wednesday, the I'm explanation video, watch the explanation video. Once is enough. For mo I'm listening to your English. I'm guessing the answers video, explanation video, just once is enough. But the repeat MP3, use that for a couple of days. And then... That's what I do. Perfect. And then on Thursday, you start over. Another assignment, uh, Friday answers, uh, and Saturday explanation, and then again. And don't forget, if you can, do LTA and EVC too. Uh, let's talk about it and everyone's vocab challenge. Uh, try and do both of those if you can. And if you're starting to use Anki, feel free to make the Anki cards, uh, Anki decks, and share them with me, and then I'll share them with everybody. That would be wonderful. Exactly. So uh, can I, uh, if, if in the situation that I miss a classes, so uh, can I ignore or can I, uh, ex I or how did I say, accept the assignment, the assignment file, skip the assignment file, can I? Can you skip or can you, what are you saying? Skip, yeah. Oh, how did I say, accept? Some people are very busy, so I totally understand. That's okay. However, um, when you can do the assignment file, I really recommend it because the assignment file will help you so much, not only on your listening, but your spelling, your structure, your grammar, and your writing. It really does help. So... Uh, I understand when you're busy, what can you do, but that's right. not skipping it. it, it do it do to my study, just like it do it to my study. And yes. Exactly. In this semester, I do, I do study. I understand. Yep, exactly. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you have a final exam at school, you need to prepare for your final exam. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yep. And uh, thank you so much for giving me this time. Absolutely. And for, and I'm sorry for taking your, your time. <laughs> no problem at all. Thank you, Abraham. See you. See you, Koshe. See you, Abraham. See you, Mohammed. See you, June. See you, Sydney. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Next class will be Sydney, you know when the next class is. <laughs> never know. I never Sydney. know. I'm looking at my schedule right now, Sydney. Uh, the next class will be... June 29th. Okay. June 29th, okay. And that will be a short one. There will only be two DDMs because we have a week in review uh, the last week. But anyway, the next classes will be June 29th, okay? Okay, right. I'm going to write you down in my calendar. Bye-bye. Wait a second, wait a second. Sydney. Yeah. You did not look at the schedule. If you look at the no. schedule. It's there. You told me to put it there, so I put it there. July 1st, 15th, 29th, August 12th, 26th, September 9th, September 23rd. Congrats. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> and, and don't forget also to Abraham, uh, not only my hangout, if you can join any of the other guys, that that's really going to be great too, okay? Okay. Yes. Good. We got Thank one up I'm out of here. Bye-bye, okay. guys. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.